There are three different spirits that can help you get started with your scold, each one with a different purpose. A lot of professionals tend to dive headfirst in with the dinosphere, but it's important to note that there are different options with different advantages to each sphere that can help you create the best foundation for your sculpt. Today, we're just gonna walk through each sphere uh, really quick, do an overcap, just to give you an idea of what sphere might be best for you to start your sculpting with. In this section, I'm going to open each sphere in their own file. You can do this by going to your Lightbox tools, going to your projects, um, where you will find all of your spheres. And in this case, I clicked on the poly sphere. A poly sphere is a sphere that has no beginning and no end point. What I mean by this is that if we go into our append section and bring in a regular sphere, and turn on polyframing, you can actually see that there is a merge point at the top and a merge point at the back. Now we can happily manipulate these quite easily and that's fine, but eventually you're gonna have to hit the DynaMesh button and it may not manipulate as well as you would like it to. But what we can do instead is use a polysphere which, as you can see, is quite different because it has four corners, essentially making it a round cube uh, rather than the top point and the bottom point. And this just makes it a little bit easier to manipulate if we want to. These kind of tools are really good for doing faces with. However, if we want to get to a point where we're doing a body. Uh, we're going to have a lot of trouble because we're then going to be pulling things out, pushing them in, pulling things down again, and that can be a really tedious thing to do. Also, if you're wondering about doing symmetry, uh, we press symmetry by pressing X, that turns on symmetry. We can also turn off symmetry by turning off the X button. The next thing we want to try is a Dynamesh sphere or a Dynasphere, whichever you prefer to call it. Um, these come in different resolutions. I'll just start with the lowest resolution. So a Dynamesh sphere is basically a polysphere, but Dynamesh is already turned on and it's giving you a set resolution that is easy to work with. I would recommend the same rules uh, if you're giving a face, really nice and easy to work with. However, if we're gonna start doing a body, it's going to get a heck of a lot more difficult for us because once again, we are building everything from scratch. However, if you're just doing small things or doing parts of things, such as items or additions to your sculpt, I would find uh, a Dynamesh sphere really helpful. The final section will be about Z spheres. And this will probably be the longest section, but I'll try to make it short and sweet. So to find your Z spheres, go to your Lightbox tools and then go to Z sphere. A Z-Sphere is really good because essentially it's used to make rigs and those rigs uh, we can then make really complex foundations for our sculpts. So the three main buttons that you're probably going to be using, there's actually four, the edit, which we can't do anything unless we edit it in ZBrush, the draw, the move, the scale and the rotate. So drawing allows me to draw more joints on. Moving allows me to move the joints. Scale allows me to scale the joints by moving my mouse up and down. And rotate allows me to rotate the joints. However, I don't tend to end up using rotate quite often, and therefore I just end up using draw, move, and scale. What's helpful about Z spheres is let's say we're making a bipedal rig. We want arms and we want those arms to have elbows. 
we can actually add any kind of sphere um, joint in this joint section by hitting draw and hitting add. We can then move those around and add new joints. We can also take away by hitting draw again and then clicking alt and removing those joints. This is really helpful because as I said, it allows us to create much more complex rigs in a lot less amount of time. When we're happy with what our rig looks like, we can hit the A button to preview. And if we're happy or unhappy with that, we can hit the A button again to go back to our spheres and keep manipulating. If you want to have two spheres pulled out at the same time from one joint, you can do that by just clicking and pulling. But if you bring both of your uh, points together, you can actually pull out just one. You can also press shift to make sure that the joint pulls out the same size as the previous joint. Once you're happy with this, press A and then go to Polymake, uh, Polymesh 3D. You'll see that this is only available when you press A. If you don't press A, this is no longer available. Once this is available, you now have a Polymesh 3D sphere that you can work with that is shaped to your rig. And you can do whatever you like to it. If you're not happy with it still, let's say you do a few things and you're happy to start again, but you'd like to manipulate the rig once more, you can actually go back into a Z-sphere, which is still saved in your project, hit A, and continue to manipulate it. And that's it. Three different spheres with three different advantages. Choose wisely and happy sculpting.